right there. That is Christmas. That is traditional Christmas. Okay. Hello, my gorgeous ones. Welcome to Alicia Budget Beauty. My name is Alicia here on my channel. I love all things affordable fashion and beauty. I do hauls, tutorials, reviews, all sorts of fun stuff. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe, stick around, be a friend. All right, you guys, I'm really excited. I have 14 palettes really weird number. That's just how many I came up with in my collection. 14 palettes that are my favorite holiday Christmas vibes palettes. So it's not including New Year's. I'm going to save that for a different video. That's something very, very different in my eyes. But these are 14 palettes that scream holiday parties, holiday events, holiday programs, or actual like Christmas Eve and Christmas Day eyeshadow palette. So if you'd like to see the 14 that are in my collection that are maybe in yours, or maybe you're in the market to try to find one of these, keep on watching. All right, first up, I'm going to just show you guys what's actually on my eyes today because this is not what I mean, okay? This is not what I mean because I do plan on also doing winter palettes. So I'm going to probably do New Year's next, and then we still have another like January after New Year's is still winter and I'm going to save my winter palettes for then but this one's probably going to be in there I'm just going to share it with you guys because I feel so silly not doing my makeup like I would do for holidays for this video but I had to test my Cosmic Brushes Wonderland palette I had it since the beginning of this week but I needed to test out the Gourmand Girls new palette Silent Night I do have a video on that if you want to see it go watch it but i've been dying to dip into this palette and so i created this look today not even thinking wait a minute this is ridiculous you like i'm doing a christmas palettes video without a christmas look on and it's driving me crazy i wasn't thinking okay but i just just pointing it out, I wouldn't typically have one of these palettes on my eyes, like a red lip. I don't know what I was thinking, but this is the Wonderland palette. This will come up in a different video. This is not included in the Christmas palettes video. And my makeup is driving me crazy just because it's it doesn't go with the theme of this video. And I'm like obsessive compulsive in that way. All right, moving on. Okay. Moving on to the first palette so my criteria for these for specifically holidays and christmas obviously red green these are more traditional colors we think of i'm saving some of the others for like winter palettes but so i think of red green gold silver and sometimes even pink it can't be an all pink palette but like sometimes i like to incorporate pink and with red and silver and gold so that is the criteria. So the first one is Primal by Blend Bunny. Now, this is no longer available, but if you have this and you've never thought of it to be a Christmas palette, well, maybe this will inspire you. So do I look at the entire palette and think Christmas? No, but I specifically used this for a Christmas party last year, and I thought I need a red matte and I need a red shimmer. And I immediately thought of this palette because you have Huntress and then you have Potent right here. These are a great pairing, a really metallic, bright red. Um, then you also have the white in here if you wanna do that kind of gradient pink into red. Obviously you've got pinks in here too if you do like to use pink in your Christmas looks. And then we also have a green and a gold shimmer and we have green mattes. So, you know, if you kind of take the other colors out of the mix and you just look at the greens, reds, gold, it, it's almost really all here except for maybe like a silver. So I do consider this not a Christmas palette, but you can pull it out at Christmas time. All right, next up we have the Arrow Inspired Palette, and I will give credit to thinking of including this one to my friend Erica. You guys go sub to her channel. She's so beautiful. She does amazing looks, and I think she had this in a, I think it was a holiday looks, I mean, palettes as well. Anyway, when I was watching her video, I was like, oh, I didn't really think of Arrow necessarily. I did think, I'll just pull it out right now. I did think of Sumerian Sunset, always. I have always thought of this one also as like a holiday palette. And so I was planning on including this one, but when Erica had this one, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna include that too. So let's go ahead and look at the Arrow Inspired palette from Adept at first. Now, 
I never really thought of this, like I said, as Christmas, but what's kind of tricky with Adept are the shifty colors in here. So this shade right here is the Frank Bertinelli. That one does this like green gold that you could count. You have this Leo Mueller, and this goes like red green. I mean, that's perfect for a holiday multi-chrome. Um, then you do have this more green green in here. So really I think more so of, you know, maybe this green right here and then pulling out the Leo Mueller and putting them together. And then you've got like this really cool looking multi-chrome Christmas look that maybe you wouldn't always think of for Christmas, but that's why I included that one. All right, but Samaria and Sunset. Yes, everyone thought of this as a fall palette and when it came out for fall, but I immediately, other than fall, thought that is also a perfect holiday palette. I just always saw that in this palette. And I think it's really here in these multi-chromes. Also, you could use this deep green. And this actually, it's in the pan, it looks like a really deep orangish brown like a rusty color but on the eyes it pulls really red at least it does on me so i mean pair any one of these with any of these sort of shifty shimmers in here let me just swatch a few i mean this one is like that green to gold you've got like a red to green in here yeah that's why I think you could definitely pull this out for the holidays. Okay, you guys, I just dropped this palette. It's no longer available. I have not opened it yet. <sighs> You're gonna see it with me. I hope it's not broken. This is the Odin's Eye Red Dragon palette. <laughs> if you know, you know this is not available. And in my opinion, they have not made palettes as well as since this collection. <sighs> okay, she's safe, she's good. All right. Now, I look at this palette and I do definitely see fall tones in here, but I definitely think that you could also have this out for a Christmassy look. This red dragon matte in here, you have solar flare, which has this green and bronzy sort of shift to it. Sometimes people also really like this. These are showing up brown, but they're actually kind of like a, a burgundy, berry, deep berry sort of tone. And I know some people really love berries as well. I forgot to mention, I was also including some berries in here. So I think like this may not right out the gate look Christmassy, but if you want sort of like a different tone of Christmas colors, I think that you could definitely pull this one out cloud that did not break. Oh my gosh. Okay. Next up, we have the Oma Beauty Black Magic palette. Now, again, this doesn't necessarily scream Christmas right away, but for me, it is these shimmers in here. This Lady of Gold, Divine. I'm kind of going back over. I already have like shimmery fingers here and Enchantress. So I feel like all of these would be really pretty with this green here. Or if, like I said, you wanna go the more berry tone and put these next to each other, I could see a Christmas look that's not right on the nose. So I'm trying to pick things that are either traditional or like just outside of the box tonally, but that could also work. All right, next up I have a Nomad Cosmetics palette. Now this is also no longer available. This was limited edition. This was their palette two years ago. In my opinion, this is this was better than their Santa's Village palette that came out last year. That was not my favorite, but this is the Home for the Holidays palette. Number one, I loved this packaging. I love all the sparkles. And then here's what it looks like inside. Now this is very colorful. You do only have one matte in here and that is this black. So it's, this is more so like a companion palette for the holidays. Or if you're like, I'm just a shimmer girl. That's all I want is like a 
the wing, you know, like my lashes on and a red shimmer. This shimmer is beautiful. I also love the gold in here. And then you also might want to do Evander, this super shiny white here, or even the pink, any of those, you know, the green is a little, I love that red. I love that red so much. And here's the gold. So, I mean, I could see these being really, really pretty either by themselves or like I said, as a companion, if you have other palettes of mattes, you know, a green or a red that you want to use, then you could definitely pop this in for some like bam. Okay, another one from Nomad I wanted to include is the Love and Death, the Verona Amore e Muerte palette. Um, so, or Morte, sorry, I'm like trying to say this like it's Spanish and it's not. So, all right, this side, the love side, it definitely says Valentine's. You will see this again, just spoiler alert, when I do a Valentine's palettes video. But hey, if you need a red and you have this palette, this is, this is your one. This side is definitely, um, like I'm, I might include this in like a winter. I think I have this in a grungy or moody list one time, but this right here, this love shade is a pretty true red matte shade, but there's also this comedy that's a beautiful red with like a little bit of gold to it. So those two would be really pretty together for the holidays. You do have this deeper red where you can deepen it up. And then like I said, if you like some pinks in your holiday look, then you could go with these as well. All right, next I have the Tarte Gilded Palette. And these aren't really talked about that much. It came, I can't remember what the other one's called, but it's the blue, and neutral, more winter, cold tone looking color story. And then this one is more of those berries and neutrals, but you do also have a gold shimmer in here, glitz and also speak easy. Um, I don't necessarily like right away think of this as holiday, but the more that I was looking at it, I was like, well, some people like to do some neutrals, but then they want like that pop of gold. They want to do the cranberry with the pop of gold for holidays. And if you happen to have this palette, then I suggest maybe taking it out for the holidays. And if you don't have this palette, do I recommend it? I actually, I, I really do like the two. I prefer the other one better, the Cool Tone palette, just color story wise. But I do, I mean, Tarte, I love their sleek packaging. I do think these would make pretty gifts. I have the video of most giftable palettes and I put Man Eater After Dark in there. I think the set of these two, the Cool Tone one and this one together, for someone that does not have a lot of eyeshadow palettes, so we're talking people that haven't tried all the amazing formulas out there. They haven't tried indie, you know, and you want to give them like a, a warmer story and a cooler story. This would make a really good gift. I know that's not what this video is about, but I just thought about it as I was showing it. All right. Another one that's maybe unexpected is the Electrip palette from Melt. Probably didn't think of this as a Christmas palette. Do you think of that right away when you look at it? No, probably not. However, Strawberry Fields, you've got a red matte in here. If you do like to bring in Icy Blues into your color story, I, I, I almost went that way too. And I thought, no, I wanna do a separate video for winter palettes specifically. So, you know, I didn't decide to bring blues, but some people do like to pair an Icy Blue into their holiday looks. You have that as well. You do have a green shimmer in here. Not a, you know, not a green necessarily like this, but I do think it's a really pretty shimmer. You also have this bronzy one. Some people, you know, may pair like the red matte and this bronzy shimmer together to make a Christmas look. And then you also have a black matte if you want to smoke out an eye and do like a red shadow. It's not the most holiday, you know, I kind of stretched a little with this one, but I was really just trying to think, you know, palettes that people may actually own and they hadn't thought like, oh yeah, there is a red matte in here that I could use. So that's why I included Electric. Okay, next up we have the Wilderness palette from Beauty Bay. And this one, I mean, 
this one has your reds and greens. It's it's really kind of has everything that you need in that category. Um, you could also use, this shade is really pretty, Ray right here. How pretty is that? It is like a champagne and green shimmer. I mean, you pop that next to like this green. Oh, so pretty. Hey, if you wanted to get really festive, even have, I mean, right there, that is Christmas. That is traditional Christmas. Okay, anyway, that is, that is so pretty. Don't discount wilderness for your Christmas palette. Next up, we have another palette that will, spoiler, also end up inevitably in the Valentine's palette. So it is the Say L'Amour palette from Gourmand Girls. And I see both. I see Christmas and I see Valentine's in here. You do have the red matte of Rouge. You have this red kind of satin shimmer of Passion. You also have this We right here. And We is a duo Chrome that I really love. Super pretty. And I mean, you pop that in with the red pinky pointer. That would be really pretty for the holidays. You could also pop this uh, feminine in the inner corner as well and have a whole look. And then again, if you like to bring pinks into your holiday looks, then you've got the pinks as well. All right, then I have the Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction Palette. And specifically, the quad on the right side of the palette. So these right here, uh, let's see. I've kind of got dirty fingers here from swatching. I love this red in here so much. It's my favorite thing about this palette is the red. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh, do you not see holiday here? Now you don't have the matte in this little quad. So, I mean, if you wanna do the neutral, that's another thing that you could do. Like you don't have to do a red or a green matte. You could do neutral mattes and then pop in very holiday looking shimmers or multi-chrome special shades. But I just think this little quad over here, if you have this palette, think about it for a beautiful Christmas look. All right, these last two are the most Christmas, other than the Nomad, Home for the Holidays, the most Christmas um, themed, actual theme palette. So we have the Beige Cosmetics Naughty Palette. Now this is no longer available, RIP. I love this palette. This was my favorite BH Cosmetics palette for a long time until the next one. But I mean, this is a big O palette, mega palette. But if you have it, don't forget about it. Um, you have Rudolph, this bright red. You have these shimmers, you know, uh, Very Merry and Mistletoe, also spicy down here, has a green tone. Then you do have like the berry tones if you wanna do those. Um, this Jingle Bells is pretty up here. It's a nice, like, bronzy, sparkly, almost a glitter, actually. This Ornaments is really pretty to pop in an inner corner right here. And then last, you have Balsam right here, this deep Everest sort of green. So definitely, if you have this palette, it's several years old. Don't forget about it. But my favorite, and this is the last one, this is probably just my favorite Christmas palette, is the Miss Claus the Litless palette from BH Cosmetics. This came out, I believe, two years ago. Naughty, I think, was three or four years ago. And this palette just, it's the most Christmas palette I think that I own. I mean, it is Christmas themed, but you have different textures in here. You have this glitter, if you are a glitter person, Rudolph. This is the one occasion to bring out a glitter, maybe two, you know, I mean, you can wear glitter anytime you want, but I'm saying if you don't think you ever wanna wear glitter, you can at Christmas, you can at New Year's. This Rudolph is really fun. You have velvet, this beautiful red matte. You've got a pretty deep burgundy red shimmer here in um, Naughty Girl. You've got this row of greens here. You have golds. I love this. Um, bougie this pink shimmer it's fun to do like a red look and then pop a pink shimmer in the inner corner you do have silver in here this has it all this is the ultimate 
out of all of them, this is the ultimate all-encompassing traditional holiday colors in my opinion. I love this palette. It's probably my favorite BH Cosmetics palette, period. I really, really miss them being this good. RIP. All right, you guys, that is it for all of my holiday palettes. No, not, I said it was starting out like traditional. Some of these were kind of not so traditional. Some of them were. You guys have to let me know if some of these surprised you or if you never thought to use them and you might for your holiday looks. I hope you enjoyed this and as always, have fun shopping, budget shopping.